So, today, I'm going to show you my retro bottom drain. I get people ask about this kind of regularly, so I figure we'll pull it out and go over it today. You probably can't see it with the glare, but it's down there. The bottom drain runs over here to a leaf basket and pump, and then goes up into my barrel system. Um, returns right at the same spot down there so give me just a minute and let me get this pulled out and then we'll go over it all right so what we've got here my bottom drain itself that is an, a lid from a catering pan and what I've got down here just some nylon nuts and bolts and I've got that so it stands about an inch off the bottom that does creates a suction pulls all the pulls all the debris off the bottom goes into a bulkhead runs along this hose over here to a leaf basket from a swimming pool you can usually pick these up pretty cheap from people getting rid of their pools or they're about 35 40 bucks if you have to order one inside there leaf basket and that's what's in there so what this does keeps all that out of my pump and out of my barrel system clean us out depending every couple days that runs over to a 3200 gallon per hour pump and like I said that just feeds over into my barrel system This line on top, you see, goes over to my air diaphragm. That's my aerator. Mounting the aerator right on top like that creates a, creates a vortex. With the bubbles rising, it creates an actual vortex action that kind of sweeps everything to the bottom drain. Um, I don't vacuum my pond ever, aside from when I open the pond in spring and I have no muck, no sediment, no nothing on the bottom. It's clean. This thing works fantastic. So, anything that you have shaped remotely like this, um, you obviously want to use something, either plastic, fiberglass, or stainless. You don't want a metal pan and they're rusting on you. But uh, set it up so it sits about an inch off the bottom. Hook it up to a bulkhead, into a pump, said I highly recommend running the leaf basket anyone who's got a pump in the bottom of their pond um, knows all about fighting with it continuously always being plugged up with everything you see in there so these things work great I put it in the shallow end in the corner here so I can reach it from the deck it's easy to clean out um, I said they, they work absolutely fantastic for keeping all that debris out of your pump and out of your filter system easy to rinse out when you need to clean it pop the lid back on and off you go um, also on this lid I've got a tiny hole drilled in the top of it should I ever have a leak or problem with my barrel system what drilling that hole does seeing as it's before the pump if the water level ever gets down once it hits that tiny hole it'll suck the air in and cavitate the pump and pretty much make the pump stop I mean, the pump will still be running but it's not going to be moving any water so should that happen yeah i'm going to lose a bunch of water out of here but i'm still going to have 18 24 28 inches of water in there so kind of a fail safe so those of you who have been asking that's my retro bottom drain setup and as long as i got this out i'm going to pull that bladder off and throw it in a tub of bleach for a while and get all that algae off there and clean it up because that works so there you have it retro bottom drain pretty simple incredibly effective all right that's it for today